Next up, we're going to look at text annotation in Mojiti. So the first feature we're going to look at is the text box, which is the simplest way of annotating your videos. If you just want to add some notes to perhaps illustrate what's going on in the video or give some extra information on what's being said there. So here I'm just typing in that this is a Machinima mashup, which is a video that we did formally. You now have the chance to format it in a number of ways. You can change the fill of the background. You can also change the opacity, so you've got different levels of transparency there. You can change the color of the line, which is the kind of box surrounding the text box, and also of the text. And you can change the line width as well. Text size can be brought up and down just using these little icons here so you can move those around. And there are also presets which give you a range of good looking and not so good looking default settings. So we're just going to click on the preview button and that will show us exactly how it's going to look in our video including the timings that we've set there. Next up I'm going to have a look at subtitling. This is a great feature that obviously has been very popular with the original Majiti. There's a really big community of international users using this to kind of just add subtitles to their online video. Formatting again you can change the text size which is obviously a good idea. And then for legibility obviously you want to get a decent colour. I'm going to leave this white because we don't have any white backgrounds. Thought bubbles and speech bubbles operate very much in the same way. You get a default to begin with, which you can then enter your text into and it will resize accordingly. And you can then also resize the bubble to suit your own tastes and move that to where you want it to go in the video. And then position the little bubbles that come from the person's head to give you an idea of where they want to go. You can also animate these also.